Today I'll be going through five uh, advanced white cross example solves. So for the first scramble, um, I see the cross pieces. So this is white cross, so cross pieces here, here and here. So we can see that blue can be set up to its to match its center color, and that red and orange are already attached to their centers. And then green can be easily inserted into its position afterwards. So I'll probably just move blue over, uh, put red and orange in, and then instead of rotating, I'll probably just move the D layer over, insert green and move it back. So I see this F2 pair here, so I'll probably uh, rotate this way to insert into the back so I can look ahead to other stuff. Uh, then I'll see these two, so I'll move the edge over to the other side and that sets them up. And once again, I want to insert into the back, trying to maximize look ahead. Um, and then I'll probably do these two. So here I could, oh, okay. So I paired these two up. So I'll probably just insert those first and then just go ahead and finish off this F2L pair. And here I could insert with the sledgehammer to orient these two edges. So if I insert normally, I get, well, that's not too bad actually, but if I insert with the, sledgehammer I could get all the edges oriented and then well they both weren't too bad so yeah and then yeah, I get an e-perm so uh, recognizing AUF so I recognize these two opposite colors so the AUF would be a U2 after the e-perm so like that so for the second scramble um Oh, I noticed that red and orange can be set next to each other, but it's not the best white cross. Um, so yeah, I'll probably just start off by setting red and orange next to each other, or opposite to each other. And then here I'll probably do whatever this move is to insert green. And I'll probably just fix up blue by itself, looking at looking on into my first F2O pair here. Uh, so I can pair these two up. Uh, for the insert here, and I'll probably do this one next um, instead of pairing it up the regular way Which is three sexies or three inverse sexies um, or Two inverse sexies and, and then rotating um, we could instead do a Sledgehammer from this angle and that actually pairs it up ready um, without the in, without the rotation so back slot solved and then here I could solve these two, but I'd probably solve these two as well because um, it, they're, they're both like they're both not too bad to solve. So I'll probably do this one first, uh, solve it into the back like that. And that, oh, that actually pairs this one up, so that was nice. Uh, I could rotate, but once again, I got these two edges oriented. So here from this angle, I could do a reverse sledge to orient all of the edges and insert this F2 pair. And here I could cancel into the soon as well. And this is an R perm because it's got alternating colors. So blue, red, blue, red, blue. So five stickers, that's definitely an R perm and it is. So that. So going into the third scramble, um, for this one, I noticed that, okay, so if I do like a U prime, D prime to begin, so like that, I can set up red and green for inserts relative to each other, then I'll probably insert orange here like that, and then align the cross. So first pair I see is probably going to be this orange and blue one here, so I could pair them up like this. Um, and then ready for the insert into the back once again to try and maximize the look ahead So here I'll probably do this and this the orange and green pair um, Probably move the corner to the back and pair them up using a sledgehammer So on onto the edge like that that pairs them up um, So I can insert that into the back as well once again trying to maximize the look ahead. Oh, okay so here if I um pair them up, pair these two up. The same moves that I use to pair these two up will also pair these two up. So if I do that, 
they both get paired up. So if I insert, if I insert this one first, this one stays paired up, and here I'll probably insert with F moves, just to save a rotation. Um, and OLO, so this is the F inverse sexy one, and Y perm. So moving on to the fourth scramble, um, looking at the cross pieces, these three and this one here, uh, I'll probably um, insert, so uh, set up blue and green next, uh, opposite to each other, so like this, blue and green like that, and then I see this F2 pair, so I want to try and preserve that, so I'll probably rotate to insert orange, and then a line red for the insert here, and insert the orange and green F2 pair into the back like that. Alright, so now looking ahead I'll probably do this edge and this corner so they can be paired up like this and I'll probably cancel into the insert. Um, so I know this edge is solved. I see the red and green corner here so it has to be this edge, it can't be any other edge. So I can use deduction and to sort of deduce that it has to be this one here so they must be a pair and they are so I'll I'll take it out and do do this case into the back. And then finally I have the this case. So yeah, there's a pair. So um I could rotate and do this case, and then I'll have to rotate back for the insert. But instead from this angle I could do a sledgehammer and then that pairs them up for the insert. And so this OLO are uh, basically inverse sledge followed by inverse sexy. And then we have another R perm. So once again, uh, these five stickers form a checkerboard pattern. So it's an R perm. So final scramble, we have this one here. Um, looking at it now, this cross is not too good. Um, Oh, okay, so I think I might have a plan for this. Uh, so if I uh, set up blue to its center, that sets up orange as well. So insert blue, and before I insert orange, I'll move green over. So that sets up red as well. So I can insert green like that and red like that as well. So that worked out. And I'll probably go to this F2 pair first. So here. The corner set up over its slot so I could actually just cancel into the insert like that and that take care of, that takes care of that. Uh, second pair I'll probably do this one and this one here so I could have deduced that but I was just checking if to see if that was the edge and it is so I'll pair those two up uh, and I'll insert into the back once again like that and then here I'll probably do Oh, okay, so this edge is made, but instead of just inserting it into here and being left with this F2 case, which is a flipped edge case, it's not too good, I might actually pair these two up first with double inverse sexy, like that, because that actually pair, that actually preserves this F2 pair. So if I insert it into the back here, and then I'll just, oh, okay, so this, oh, so this is a winter variation case, which means I could skip OLO here. So um, when everything is oriented, and this white and yellow sort of makes headlights, then I could do a, a sexy move before, and then I can insert and that skips OLO. So go straight into an A perm. All right, that's it for today's example solves. I hope you learned a thing or two, and thanks for watching.